So for today, I'm going to show you the setup of my FJ Cruiser. Uh, everything here are from uh, Quick Pitch, no? So this is the Quick Pitch uh, rooftop tent. Uh, we will open it so I can show you how it is. So when you push it up, it goes up uh, by the, I think it's a leaf rod, no? will push it up automatically and this cord is used to uh, pull the tent inside when you want to close it so uh, all you need to do is to insert these two rod in order to uh, uh, how do you call this to bring out the the tent shade no so uh, there are two rod which you will just put it on and that's it uh, it's finished already. Just uh, you, all you need to do is just to put these two uh, rods that will push it out. So next thing, since there's a big space inside, the stairs is also kept inside already. So you, it doesn't take an extra space. So uh, uh, we will open the the stairs. Stairs or ladder? I don't know. Uh, what is the right term for this one? No, some might call it stairs, some might call it ladder, and some might try to correct me in the comment that say I don't know what I'm saying. But uh, whatever it is, it's the item that make you climb up to the tent. So now we're opening the uh, Quick Pitch uh, 270 awning. No. Uh, the reason I changed to this awning because it's uh, easier to open. Uh, all you need to do is to unzip it and then remove these three uh, velcro no? tie and then pull it. So when we pull it, this is a 270 so it goes from the side to the back. And uh, I don't know whether uh, Usually, I just put it in my front runner roof rack. I don't know. There should be a clip, no? I don't know. Maybe uh, the supplier didn't give it to me. And now, I'm going to open the uh, private changing room, which you could use as a shower room, changing room, or as your uh, toilet also, or restroom, no? So, it's very easy. That's why I, I chose also the, the quick pitch uh, with the metal cover. Uh, it's more sturdy and uh, it's easier to to, uh, to open it or to close it. So there's a full zipper in two corners. Actually, in two corners, there's a full zipper. Uh, I just opened one side just to show you that. Uh, and then there's a weight also that put it down. But uh, in case there's stronger wind, you could also put a peg. Here is an uh, overview uh, using uh, DJI drone to take a video of the whole setup. Yeah. The rooftop tent is uh, quick pitch, the awning is quick pitch, and the uh, uh, privacy room uh, is also uh, quick pitch. Uh, it is also advisable to use the front runner uh, how do you call this? roof rack. Yeah. I use a front runner roof rack. Now let's get inside the tent. You have a big space and there are six pouches for you to put your things. You could put your book, you could put your iPad uh, and cell phone. These are big space, no? Look. These are very big space for you to put your things in. So the pillow are here, but actually when I'm using it, the pillow is on the other side. Uh, these are just placed here for uh, storage purposes. But when I sleep, I put the pillow on the other side since uh, uh, there's a bigger headroom. No? Now on the side, this is the window and uh, Look at the space outside, no? Uh, the, the side window, the rear window, 
and the other side is the window or the door since you're coming in from that place this one is a full zipper if you can you want to close it you could close everything no and it's a total darkness when you close it you could close it totally yeah let's uh, zip it and close it and then if you notice there is another zipper no there's another zipper uh, Okay, the purpose of this zipper when you zip it out down is to open it but now there's a screen so this one this protect the mosquito and the fly from coming in but still you have ventilation but of course when you're using this one the ventilation is cut into half already no because of the screen and you could close it you could uh, do many combination you could half open it uh, normally when I sleep I do half open okay this is my setup when i sleep no so still wind can still come in but uh, on the lower part it's closed so looking at the uh, at the back actually this is where your head will be when you sleep no and uh one thing nice with the awning when you open it uh you feel safer no people doesn't go up on top on on the side and it is only on the door side that uh, people can can come up it also includes a light no uh, I did not plug it in but this light have two switch no there's a switch that red light or white light you could choose the lighting uh, there's an Anderson plug outside but uh, unfortunately I was able I was able to plug it so I cannot show you the, the light now let's look inside it's carpeted no, it's carpeted and then it comes with the uh, rubber foam which is just right the thickness is just right but i i add additional uh bed sheet in it oh. so this one this is how it It has a zipper here. Actually, this one. This is for you to put your shoes. Put your your shoes or slipper here. Now uh, let's look at the awning. Uh, this is the bracket. Uh, very sturdy. One, two, three four five okay there are five brad that extend the awning and if you look at it it's uh, uh they use uh, strong metal also the peg is also kept here the i'll show you the the peg no uh you use this when you could add tie down during stronger wind uh in order to protect the awning you must use the tie down and the peg are kept here so you don't easily lose it okay and uh, it's velcroed now uh, let's look farther so this is the extent uh, there's a rod here uh, factory it comes with one rod but you could add more now to remove it all you need to do is to uh, just uh, remove the lock and then put it back no so what I like with this is uh, it is uh, very, very easy to, uh, to uh, how do you call this, unpack it or to, uh, to uh, put it back no? when uh, you finish uh, using it. So all you need to do is to roll down the tent and then put on the... Oh, by the way, this one, no, you have to push it. This is the disadvantage that I see. With my alu cup, all you need to, to do is just to, to push it to the side. But with the quick pitch, uh, I think it's a little bit heavy, no? So I, I need a little push for it to be inside the frame of the, of the storage, no? So all you need to do is to put on the three uh, wire strap 
and then uh, lock it with the velcro and uh, that's it no and then uh, put down the cover and uh, zip it so that's how easy it is to uh, to uh, unpack this uh, quick pitch uh, 270 awning that's why I I, I, I like it uh, it's very fast no to uh, okay so just zip it and it's done Now uh, we're going to remove the ladder. Uh, sometimes I remove it from the top, and uh, sometimes I, uh, I how do you call this? I, uh, I put it up a little, and then I remove it from the clump. So I still have not yet find the best way of doing it. Maybe some of you could suggest what is the right way to do it uh, for it to be easier. So this one, there's no definite way how, how I do it, no? But uh, the procedure is first, uh, uh, the awning, after you finish uh, uh, unpacking the awning, that's the time you unpack the rooftop tent because there's no way for you to reach the the rooftop tent with the awning open.